gorgeous Coachman 320 BHDS bunkhouse with a uh, triple slide here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Absolutely fantastic RV, one of the my, my favorite big family campers. Um, there's a lot of really sharp features in here, some really fine detail stuff that's easy to miss, and that's why I put this video together. A lot of casual campers or, you know, I mean, I do this all day every day, so I pick up on things that maybe you don't have the opportunity to see, and that's why I put these videos together. For instance, you, you look in here and we've got a big wide baggage compartment, and you can kind of see my hand for scale. So it's a big 30 inch wide baggage door with a wider compartment. You can actually put big chairs in here. They include an indoor outdoor picnic table for you. And for convenience sake, they even include uh, a big full length LED light strip in here so you can see in there more easily all the way through the entire compartment. Baggage doors are fully laminated so that they do have a good um, you know, heat barrier or uh, heat exchange barrier so that your bedroom doesn't freeze or swelter as it were. Speaking of that, that's why they use a big white nose cap on here. They did some testing, they use one of those little laser pointer guns that tells you how hot something is and they found out that by going white on the nose the bedroom was anywhere from 10 to 20 degrees cooler than a dark nose cap that's a huge difference guys that's a huge difference especially when that wall is right up next to your head cooking you now you're not feeling like an egg in a you know frying pan um, so this is a uh, liberty edition with premier package there's the freedom express upgrades to a liberty edition upgrades again to a premier package then we have a couple more upgrades on top of that this is a very highly equipped trailer. You can't really do much more with it. And um, uh, you know, this is typically how we stock them. We really dress these up because this is a standout product. It's a very highly cloned product within the market too. A lot of copycats of this out there. Give me a call and I can explain what I mean by that. Power tongue jack, power awning with LED lighting. So everything is just push button simple for setup. Big space here for a double battery uh, if you're so inclined. And they tongue mount the spare tire for both load equalization purposes as well as leaving the rear bumper open for bike racks. How cool is that? Little known fact, most brands tell you do not put a bike rack on our bumper. If you do, you avoid the structural warranty. Not the case with Coachman. They say, knock it out, family, because you are you got kids, you're going camping, they need bikes. And, you know, they welcome that. Enclosed underbelly uh, with forced air heating to uh, keep the uh, underbelly warm and give you a nice thermal barrier, extend your camping season. A, a, a awesome seal gripping slide while you see the rough texture on that versus the, the smooth skin fiberglass over here to show you. A lot of brands will use the same fiberglass here uh, over here, but this pulls that slide seal as tight as possible to give you better uh, you know, um, sealing and, and just no chance for leaks that way. Uh, sliding windows all the way around here because everything functions first at Coachman and looks good second. Thankfully, they pretty much always look good. They tend not to use frameless windows because that will reduce your uh, you know, cross breeze airflow. All windows open for breeze and they're big windows <laughs> for breeze. They all open for uh, you know, good airflow so you can actually really enjoy yourself in here even when you don't want to run the AC. All your hookups and everything including your um, outside utility shower right back there in the rear corner to me where they belong. And that's the thing is that this is one of the best built, best designed RVs for the end user on the market, period. Um, they do have a full walk-on roof. This has uh, a uh, laminated um, sidewall, laminated rear wall, laminated floor. Um, the uh, uh, what was I getting at there? Oh, the, the roof can what? It's got to it's got to hold something like close to three, five hundred to four thousand pounds. True walk-on roof, built very well. Um, the uh, rear outside kitchen here, they've redesigned recently and it is just awesome looking and it's more user friendly than it ever has been before and here's what I mean by that. They recessed the refrigerator down so that it's easier for you to reach. Oh, hold on, let me get out of the light so you can see that better. There we go. They moved the refrigerator down so it's easier to reach. You don't have to be a big tall uh, guy like me. They, that meant that they had extra space overhead so they put a shelf there for extra storage. Now we have an extra um, just big wide open space here but you notice this little coax outlet. So you you can throw a TV here if you want, or we just got a nice big spice rack. Now we have double outlets so that you can have electronics up here and still have appliances down here instead of only choosing one or the other. Um, sink does connect to the water heater, so you do get hot and cold water there. And all of the uh, countertops, always, always, always in the Freedom Express, are a pressed, molded, sealed edge countertop so that water cannot penetrate in here. If it's humid outside, it's not going to cause this to swell up and fail on you. Now. They use a really cool high output Coleman grill. A lot of the grills in the RV business are not high output. That means that uh, if, if you know, when you uh, blow the candles out on a birthday cake, a low output grill could be blown out that way by just going 
Well, this can't happen. This takes a 25 mile an hour wind. That's gusty. Now, this is my, just one of my favorite features they do on this is this wrap around sink drawer. All your uh, utensils and everything can go right in here. You can just pull this thing out and take it to your picnic table. You can, uh, this is also free floating. So if you want to go set this uh, on your picnic table to cook there, or if you want to take it to your neighbor's campsite, if you're doing a big cookout somewhere with your buddy, knock it out you know you can do that and there is even led lighting in there the awning can be pitch adjusted for rain runoff <laughs> if uh what you do is you put the kids chair here and you pull in that awning arm and spill all the water on them <laughs> uh, <laughs> i'm a troublemaker um see but I, what i do is i i i have other people do my dirty work for me i would have my uh, i i'd give my nephews that idea so that they get their brother soaked and their parents are like what are you doing and i'm like i don't know what he was thinking that was crazy anyway back to the point at hand wide stance stability axles uh imagine a teeter-totter if it only has one point that thing can pivot real easy now take that point and split it really wide open now it's going to be really hard for that teeter-totter to want to jerk really fast that's what's going on here these are load equalization um towing axles so that the trailer doesn't go like this go down the road it just kind of easily goes through the motions that means that your truck suspension can more easily handle that and you're not going to get bucked around inside of the truck full length led light strip up here so that you get great exterior lighting bigger entry handles so that it is easier to come and go nice triple step now here's the thing this is a, a very well appointed trailer freedom express is especially like i said liberty edition bang and premier package that we have put on this it is very confusing sometimes you look at this and you see well, well man there's a lot of other trailers that have similar features and they look very similar but the thing is at the end of the day guys this is a lightweight now it looks like it's not a lightweight and that's who freedom express is they're a lightweight that doesn't look like a lightweight they have all the same big fancy flashy appointments as a lot of these big heavy bulky trailers they just don't have all the weight that does mean that this may not be you know zero degree camping rated when the wind's blowing but very few of us actually need that kind of extreme temperatures and frankly very few rvs are going to handle that that being said the insulation package they have in the roof the asdell and the walls that i'm going to get at in a minute and the uh underbelly heated package down here there's, there's very little this is not going to tackle for you and yet save a lot of weight. Another neat thing, they put a super duper heavy duty extra thick decal on the nose here to act as like a stone deflector. Uh, it's just a shield so that your nose cap doesn't get skinned up basically. So as Dell in the walls, I was talking about that. You can see a little sneak peek of it right here in the door jam. They purposely leave this open so you can peek at it. That white stuff, that's what's under the fiberglass skin, as Dell. It is a resin, rot proof, mold proof, mildew proof. It has uh, higher R values than normal Luan wall board. It weighs 50% as much. Um, some people say 40, some say 60, so I split the difference and call it 50. Uh, long story short, it's lighter, it's a better product, it's gonna last longer, give superior bonding, and this inch and a half ultralight wall has the same insulative quality as a two inch non-ultralight wall. Not the cheapest product around, a superior product. That's the Coachman difference on this thing. So stepping inside here, this is, what is this called, slate or granite, the decor, or something like that. Uh, I can't remember. Now, right when you walk in, you've got handy little welcome back entry lights. Now, you also have these really cool accent lights, both on the ceiling panel as well as down there. Uh, they put a backlight in the uh, fireplace. But just to kind of give you an idea, it's not really bright. It's just here for ambiance. Now, right around the corner, once you're inside, you have your um, entry and uh, living room switches here. And boom! Boom! Huge difference. It just really, really livens it, brightens it right up in here. They have no shortage of lights in here. They are not afraid to put good quality lighting in here, and it really makes a heck of a difference. This decor is called granite or slate or something like that. One of those rock names. Um, it's just uh, it's it's their you know neutral gray tone fabric decor. Keep in mind we sell a lot of these, so the interior decor. Uh, it may be or could be very different um, on the one that we have in stock. The equipment package will probably be the same as what you're seeing here within reason, but uh, the, the fabrics could change. So let me back up and let's get started here because we have a ton to cover inside this beauty. First thing, this is, this is a defining factor for me and it's one of the most important qualities in a Freedom Express is that they're taller. They have taller walls. A lot of, well, the industry standard travel trailer has 78 inch tall walls. A lot of lightweights will give you a almost six inch arch and that that's that's better than nothing don't get me wrong this is my personal favorite it's an 81 inch tall wall with a linear ceiling profile 
This has the same cubic foot of space as that arched interior ceiling that you see, but it actually gives you better space. And here's what I mean by that. When the walls are taller, we can have taller slide outs. We can have more bunk space. We can have a taller shower. That arched interior ceiling gives you a little more shower space, but not as much as this. I can stand up comfortably in the shower. I can stand up in the arch ceilings, just not as well. I'm 6'3 for reference, by the way. Um, so this is my personal favorite. Uh, the dinette here does have easy access storage under both sides. That one over there is a swinging door. This is obviously a full extension uh, ball bearing glided plywood constructed drawer down here. Very heavy duty stuff, um, you know, made to be really loaded. And now again, remember all of your countertops are sealed so that water can't get in here. Part of the Liberty Edition is the upgrade to the solid surface countertops in the kitchen area. Knocking that up just another notch. Um, the entertainment package in here, we've got a beautiful flat screen TV with an all-in-one AM, FM, CD, DVD, Bluetooth player down there. It's got a couple of various auxiliary inputs for other activities. Um, this, uh, we will almost always build these with a uh, 15,000 BTU Air instead of a 13.5. By the way, if you're ever curious to know how much one of these costs, right down in the video description it says click for price and availability. We publish all of that. You don't have to call for price at Halet RV. We make this easier to work with. That's, I mean, we publish our pricing. We have hitching pieces, parts, finance, everything. We even do tow vehicles, guys. So if you want a, a vehicle for your camper, um, or if you need a, a vehicle for this and you want a package deal, we do everything. Um, back to the topic at hand. They do a little bit darker here on the island, but only the island, so that it just kind of understates the island and, and helps define you know just space out the rest of the living room a light dark contrast makes things feel bigger electric fireplace down here is part of the premier package so that you do not need to burn up your propane to heat your rv makes a huge difference you're already buying the electricity at the site don't burn up your propane another big part of that premier package is the uh eight cubic foot refrigerator freezer here as opposed to the standard six so that's another one of those nice bundles great great storage in this kitchen also by the way let me open this big pantry up over here so you kind of get the full effect uh that's almost the size of another refrigerator over there every little pocket they could they opened up you've got your one two three big appliances in the slide out off the floor plan. Now down here, because they made this such a big slide, you get you get all this extra kitchen space right here. And yes, there are power outlets so you can run all of your appliances. Now you've got awesome space below. You see that big drawer sticking out? That runs below the oven. A lot of brands won't give you a drawer for storage below the oven. Here they do. Now here we have two of these big giant drawers. Now, the reason they have another one of these utensil things here is Coachman's really big on, again, end user features. You need a place to put forks, spoons, knives, whatever. They give you that. Now, normally, this would go under a sink because the sink's in the island. They didn't put it here, but they still gave you the feature. That's just, it's so user-friendly and awesome. And then we have more storage and outlets on the back side of this island. Now, with a recessed stone cast sink, meaning you can pour boiling water and it doesn't melt like a plastic or composite sink. Um, you can use this whole thing like countertop space and you even get a cool little pull out sprayer type faucet to go with it. A lot of good stuff going on in here. Um, moving on, let's move back to the bunkhouse. So you see the TV spins, but it can face back here in the bunkhouse. So you actually get kind of a dual purpose TV there. Um, you don't need to buy extra electronics for the kids. Uh, we also have a privacy door, so we can actually, you know, close that off. And mom and dad can have a privacy sanity room in here. Now, this is a little different. Some people are going to like this. Some don't. I think it's cool because I understand the story behind it. This is Dalmatian print because the Coachman mascot is Spot the Dalmatian. It's Spot the Dog. And, uh, you know, this kind of just ties into the whole Coachman story and whatnot. These are convertible cube futons. Here, let me flip one of these open and show you just how easy it is. All you got to do is just kind of move this around. These are fabric, by the way. And you can just flip this thing open and pow. So you can have individual beds. You can have a dinette, or pardon me, not a dinette. You can have a sofa, a lounge, individual beds, or smash them together and make a king out of it, basically. You can do a lot with this. Now, once again, user-friendly end-user equipment. We have uh, lights for every single little sleeping area. You see the overhead bunk is self-supporting, so you don't have to you know, try to peg it into the wall or anything like that. And great, 
great bunkhouse storage in here. We've got this big tall uh, uh, space over here, so you've got lots of like linen space and whatnot. Big hanging closet in there, uh, w more than enough for a couple kids for sure. Uh, more storage, more storage, a ladder so you don't have to throw the kid up here. And this is a 50% wider big kid bunk. If you've got the larger kid, you're going to want to put them up here because you want to probably keep the smaller kids down here anyway. And you can still, even though the TV spins around, if you want three zone entertainment, bed, well, even outside, you could have outside, living room, bunkhouse, bedroom entertainment. You could have four zone entertainment here. That's what these hookups are for. Those are going to feed off your park cable. Um, the uh, bunks here, 300 pound bunk rating, by the way. I'm turning off a couple lights as I go to save my battery. Uh, moving forward, look at that, more power outlets down there. Man, you know, all that little stuff costs a couple bucks here and there, guys, and people don't think about that, but it adds up, and that's the stuff that defines different manufacturers. It truly, truly does. Before I walk over this and gloss over it, this is a big deal. Right when you walk in the door, we've got a big coat closet with a shoe rack right there, hat rack, everything, so that you can just have all of your indoor outdoor clothes bang in one spot. And they purposely leave an extra space over here so you can have tall stuff like brooms handy so that you can brush out your almost uh, carpetless flooring and keep the camper clean. This is a trifold memory foam hide to bed sofa with a little storage pocket beneath it. Um, and uh, what that's gonna let you do is keep some extra pillows or linens in there in case this huge rear private bunkhouse isn't quite enough sleeping. You can always fold down the dinette and the sofa and sleep, I don't know, 10-ish in this thing, um, even with overhead storage above there. And again, all windows open for ventilation. And this is another part of one of the packages on this RV is that skylight above the dinette. Let's in a lot of extra light, makes it feel large, and you do have a sunshade so that you don't feel like an ant under a magnifying glass. Again, end user friendly features. They have a phone charge station. It just doesn't sound like it's that important. But it, it, it's not the reason to buy a coachman. It's just another reason to go with the Freedom Express. You know, you've got all this beautiful countertop space. You don't want to have six phone charges and their cords all tangled up everywhere. They give you a spot to put all that stuff right out of the way. Hang up your keys. Do whatever you got to do. Um, the uh, bedroom and bathroom here, you see that you do have a dual access uh, bathroom option. You can do, get to it from the bedroom directly, well, over here, or from the, the uh, I don't know, hallway-ish, whatever you want to call it, directly. Uh, that is a foot flush stool, so you don't need your face near your business. And they are using a, uh, a larger 29-inch radius shower so that big, tall people, long arms like me, can actually stand up in here. My bald head is going to blind you in the skylight. My apologies, I can't really help that. Mother Nature was firing me, so I quit, and I finally just shaved my hair kind of shorter, you know? Um, but again, tall person friendly shower here, and because it's a larger radius shower, you can, you're can you not gonna bash your elbows in it when you're walking around. Now, uh, up here in the bedroom, both uh, sides of the bed have stands, let me show you over here, stands with outlets. Um, big wide hanging closets here. You have dual element reading lights. You hold it and you get this bright white light so that you can really see in here. You tap it and you get this beautiful uh, cerulean blue. And that's gonna make pages on uh, a book glow so you can read at night without disturbing one another or just see enough without really bothering each other. And yes, that is a true queen, not a camper queen. So that's a true 80 inch queen. And yet there's a lot more to talk about here. So please give us a call. This is a hyper popular model from one of the very best brands out there. Coachman's just got more, uh, what are they, 52 or three years of experience now? Man, there's just not a lot of people that have that kind of track record. Um, and they, they stand behind their product. That's what I like about it. They've been here for years. They This is a huge core part of our lightweight lineup, and I like them. I like them because they're fun, they work, and they're very smartly appointed and built. 800-256-5196. Haywood RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care, stay safe, happy camping, everybody.